In this video, I'm going to use only ChatGPT to create a complete media plan and complete campaign plan. At the end of the video, I'll give you my verdict that how you should use it and what are the considerations you should have. So I'm going to use it stage wise. So the first thing I'll ask ChatGPT is, I'm working with a client who is a real estate broker company based in Dubai. They want to run digital marketing paid campaign to generate leads on their website. In order to work on a media plan for them, please provide a list of questions I should ask them in order to create an efficient media plan. Because this is very important. When you work on a project, you need to know what questions to ask before you can give them a media plan. You can't just say, okay, I'll send you a media plan. You need to know some stuff about their business. And these questions, what you need to ask them comes with a lot of experience because then you know what kind of questions to ask based on those questions, how you will tailor the media plan for them. So let's see what ChatGPT has to say. Okay, here we go. Business objectives and goals. Primary goals, what are your KPIs, target audience, who's your demographics, psychographics, geographical targeting, what's your budget, what's your campaign duration, what type of property types. It's new for me as well. No matter how much I have worked, because every time it will give you a different answer. So what's the budget, what's the campaign duration, <clears throat> what type of properties I, are you selling? I actually forgot to ask in the brief that they work on both secondary market and new uh, property launches. And what kind, whether it's commercial, luxury, unique selling proposition, why would should people come to you, existing campaigns. Now this is so important to ask. Whenever you talk to a client, you should always ask them, what's your existing clients? Are you running anything? Have you run anything in the past? What channels worked for you? What didn't? These are very, very important questions and you understand these with experience, but it's summing all of it. Performance data. Can you share performance data from previous campaigns? Maybe it should have added. Are you? Do you have the liberty to share Google Analytics uh, view with us so that we can analyze the uh, website performance? Digital marketing preferences, preferred platforms, okay. Content types, what content types worked for you and what didn't. Website and landing pages, and okay, computers, market analysis, who are your computers, what are the market trends, regulation, CRM integration, lead nurturing, almost everything you should ask. And if you have this information from the client, you can work on a very tailored and extensive media plan. This is so important. You know, back in the days before ChatGPT, we used to have a person who could write a client brief form in agencies. And that was like the person who has a lot of experience. And then they used to write a client briefing form before we work on a pitch for them or a new project uh, media plan. But it summed it all up. Demographics, like this is so important question for a real estate broker. You have to ask them, who are you targeting? For example, in Dubai, there are certain companies, real estate. They say, we have properties only Indians and Russians are interested in. Some are like, okay, we have properties, for example, in La Mer, only Europeans are interested in this. In certain properties, because every um, community has a different taste. And this is so important to ask. Like for you, maybe it feels like a generic question if you don't have experience in digital marketing or real estate. But these are so, so important questions. Geographical targeting, because some real estate clients only target people who are already in Dubai. And some even target people while they are in India, Russia, European countries, because there are a lot of leads you generate from there. And some of the people, they are well versed with Dubai, so they can even do the deal from there and come here for signing. Or in certain cases, some people, they want to invest in Dubai, but when you talk to them, you generate a lead, you talk to them, and then you're like, okay, this is the property. They find Finalize kind of everything while they are there and then they come here to have a final check on the property and sign it so these are very very important questions honestly i don't think chat gpt left any question unasked in certain cases it does but in this case it asks everything even the customer relationship management like you ask them what kind of tools do you use what kind of crm tools do you use then you probably see if in meta campaigns you can directly integrate the leads will go there google campaigns well whether the leads will go there now what we did here is basically the stage one of digital marketing like before you give them a media plan you ask them these questions so that once you have this information then you plan your media plan and campaign plan even look here regulations because for example in dubai there are a lot of regulations if you are promoting a healthcare uh, there are a lot of regulations when you are promoting a real estate property you need to have certain registration number it's so extensive and the cherry on top will be this 
I'm tell, asking ChatGPT, make it in a tabular form and for each question, add an example answer to the client for the client to understand what kind of input are we expecting. Because sometimes you send them a question like this, do you have CRM system in place? If it's not a tech savvy client, they'll be like, what do you mean? Or what do you mean the CRM we use or how do we use? In certain questions, they, they get confused. So I'm asking it to make it like a table and uh, then um, add an example answer for them to understand. Okay, this is how the table looks like. Business objectives, what are your primary goals for these digital marketing campaigns? Example answer, our primary goal is to generate leads for residential properties in Dubai. KPIs, what performance key indicators do you want to measure success? We aim to achieve a cost per lead of 50 and conversion of 5%. Now the client will not have any problem at all. Guys, this is amazing. I sell this template on my website for, I think, $5. And with ChatGPT, you can just create it for free. And ChatGPT has been very, very impressive so far. And if you haven't added any kind of AI tool in your workflow as a digital marketer so far, I will highly recommend to check this ebook called AI Trends for Marketers. And you can download it for free from the link in the description below. The ebook contains some amazing research about how marketers globally are using different AI tools for their work. You will also know what kind of tools are marketers using across the world. And this ebook book is divided into different sections which shows what kind of tools are used for different kind of tasks in digital marketing like research, content creation and scaling, social media content, writing email copies, writing product descriptions. My favorite part of the ebook is the sections which shows examples of the use cases for each tool and even the example prompts that should be used. And this ebook was made by HubSpot who is also sponsoring this video. So I highly recommend go to the description and download the ebook. Back to our video. Now that we have the briefing form which we will send to the client and once they provide you the information you go back to chat gpt and enter the relevant information in the prompt and ask it to make a media plan for you so i'll write something like this you can be as descriptive as possible but include these important pieces of information so i'll write i want to create a media plan for the above client the budget is seventeen thousand dollars for one month we are targeting 30 to 50 for age group and based in UAE. We want to include certain property and real estate related portals as well and target them via display advertising. Give me a media plan in tabular form with estimated impressions, clicks and leads. Okay. Based on the provided information, I can outline a media plan that includes digital platforms targeting specifics and performance metrics such as impression clicks and leads. Here's the tabular representation. Google Ads, search and display, budget 5,000. <laughs> Quite close to what I, I would have said. Target audience, this. Estimated impressions, this. Clicks, this. Estimated leads, 50. Which means $100 CPL. Mm -hmm. It's a bit high. A little bit high. But uh, Facebook, okay, 4,000. Honestly, I mean, it's very close to what I would have suggested. Property portals, display advertising, 3,000. Okay. LinkedIn ads, sponsored content, 2,000. Professionals, this. YouTube ads, video ads, this. Other portals, display ads, retargeting campaign. Uh, retargeting campaign as well. Uh, and I mean, uh, 2,000, which is like uh, maybe 20 uh 12% of the budget as retargeting. I would say it should be a bit more, maybe 20, 17, 18%. But then it's just a one month campaign. Um, so yeah, it's somewhere there. Uh, we'll have to basically understand how many clicks we'll generate. And based on that, we'll have to allocate this budget. But roughly, it's very close. No, it's Google Ads. Use a mix of search ads and display ads targeting real estate related keywords and demographics, Facebook ads, Utilize ad carousel, video ad, and lead generation form, property portals. Focus on property UAE portals such as Bayouth, Property Finder, and Dubizzle. LinkedIn, guys, I'm really scared. What will we do? Uh, LinkedIn ads, target professionals interested in real estate investment, YouTube ads, create engaging video content showcasing property links, tours, and uh, client testimonials, other portals, consider other local news websites. Yes. This is because business people, if this is an expensive property, I would definitely say go to Khalij Times business section and Gulf News business section. 
retargeting campaign, implement a retargeting strategy to engage visitors who have interacted with your website. Estimated breakdown, clicks, cost per lead. The plan is designed to maximize reach and efficiency considering the budget and target uh, demographics. Can you give me the above rationale in slide form and tell me which part goes in which slide? Certainly. <clears throat> okay. So once you create this this table and you put it in, uh, let's say, uh, Excel sheet because that's how a media plan looks like and then obviously you can support your media plan with the because when you're presenting a media plan to a client they ask you give us rational how did you allocate the budgets and stuff so I'm asking you to create that rational slide presentation for you as well so here we go okay slide one content title monthly this subtitle targeting UAE market budget this your company name Slide two, title, campaign objectives, bullet points, generate lead quality. So if you have given that or your client will answer you uh, what their objective is, you can replace it if it's not accurate because we didn't tell it what the objective uh, in description is. So you can replace that. Budget allocation, table, budget breakdown, table chart displaying. So you can just from the table create a chart showing how much budget, a uh, pie chart showing how much budget goes where. Target audience, content, title, target, bullet points, this uh, platform strategy, content, title, platform strategy, overview, bullet points, use Google ads uh, for search and display, leverage Facebook and this, uh, so it's telling you basically rational, content, uh, title, Google ads, strategy, bullet point, details, this, estimated clicks, this, uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. so it's basically giving the same thing in this form. Let me ask it uh, something else, it's saying how to create PowerPoint slides give a rational to why we are allocating most of the budget to Google Ads certainly high intent targeting these are the questions that the client might ask you so you have to kind of understand a bit High intent targeting, search intent, Google ads allow us to target users actively searching for properties and real estate related services. This high intent audience is more likely to convert into leads. It knows everything. <laughs> Keyword targeting, we can select specific keywords related to real estate, ensuring that our ads reach individuals who are already interested in buying and renting properties. This is an apt answer. Proven ROI performance, extensive reach and coverage, data-driven insights, and it's giving you so much rational more than what you need. Give me a list of keywords we should target. Luxury villas for sale, apartments for sold. So based on, because we didn't tell it where we are selling apartments or uh, we are selling um, villas, beachfront properties, whatever, it's giving you all the ideas. But in the first prompt, you should basically add all the information the client provided you in the form. And then you don't have to ask these questions. But look at this, like this is easily, easily three days work for one experienced digital marketer like someone who has done a lot of projects they create media plans they create this rational they create the initial list of keywords that needs to be presented to the client this is three days work and we just did it in 15 minutes and there's so much to it but i don't want to confuse you with a lot of information there are so many tools in the market why i chose chat gpt is because you can do almost everything. Now we can add, ask it to give us in a PPT form and all. But those are minor things like copying here and pasting there or asking it to give a PPT. That's easy. But I wanted to show you the soul, the, the main direction how you should use it for this specific reason. And I want to inform you side by side we are working in a, on an extensive uh, course on how you should use chat gpt as a digital marketer and why is chat gpt the first tool you should kind of look at as a digital marketer which can help you to improve your efficiency and it should be released very very soon this was just a brief idea about giving you an idea about the direction you should use chat gpt in and for now what i think the my verdict is it's very apt
like sometimes it can do better job than an experienced person because you tend to forget sometimes you miss on something in this case like this specific example in last 15 minutes this is very very apt probably you need to add some finesse you need to do some sense check because sometimes it might suggest something which based on your experience and sense check you have to negate that this is better than what i have been seeing small agencies the kind of rational and the kind of media plans and the kind of questions they ask because i have some experience working as consultant for small agencies where i show them how actually the agency should work i hope you enjoyed the video stay tuned for the course on my youtube channel thank you so much i will see you in the next one